Hey everybody, today I'm going to do just a real quick video of some things that I found at the thrift store. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I have actually not done real well lately at the thrift stores. Y'all, it's been tough finding anything at my usual places. So I'm going to try a little bit later on in the week, maybe even tomorrow, going to some places that I've never been before. Because um, sometimes when you get close to a holiday and, you know, we're right in between St. Patrick's Day and Easter and spring and people are decorating for spring, sometimes it's a little difficult to find find the things this you know when that's going on so a lot of the spring stuff is picked over and it there just really wasn't much at either place that I went to um, over the last couple of days so let's start off first with this little nutcracker I showed him on my last video when I said I found nothing at the thrift store and this was all I found is this little ceramic nutcracker I have since learned that this little piece came from Target and I think he's just really cute. Um, when I have a Christmas event here at my house, when I have start selling all my Christmas stuff, I am going to do like a nutcracker display, and I'm going to put him right in the middle of it for sale. He was regularly 99 cents, and he was half price, so that's what, 54 cents? So I paid 54 cents for this little beauty, and he's beautiful. He's no chips or cracks, nothing like that. So he's a little target piece. And I think he'll go beautifully with my other Nutcracker stuff that I have. The next thing that I got, um, I picked these up the other day, were these little, I got this one that says Nanny. This is a pottery piece. This is a pottery coffee cup by L. Wine Pottery from 2009. L. Wine Pottery is a family of potters here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, not very far from Knoxville, and they do beautiful work. And here is the back stamp. And I just love this. It says Nanny, and I've got to say I got this because um, it said Nanny, and that's what I called my favorite grandmother was. That's what we called her, Nanny. So there's that. Next one was this one that says Paw. I really just like this. I think this is so cute. And it has her back stamp on it. Her name, the the lady, the original potter was Patricia L. Wine. And I just love this. And her family has continued the tradition of making pottery. So this is a really good local potter here that is, you know, fairly well known uh, in the South. I didn't know that till I did some research on these pieces, but I just love them. And who could resist? I mean, who could resist this? I, I am not called Nanny. My grandkids call me Grammy, but I would buy that and drink out of it in a heartbeat. Or, if nothing else, use it as a decor piece and put some flowers in there in your primitive decor or your Americana decor. I just think that they are beautiful. I love both of them. So, here they are. There's that. The next thing that I got, I went this morning, and these I found over the weekend. But I went this morning, and I found this little thing that is from Kirkland's. Now, I'm going to take this out of the box because the, the front piece is just <laughs> beat all to pieces. But this is new in the box, and it says, In everything give thanks, 1 Thessalonians 5.18. This is from Kirkland's. And I, this would be great for your Thanksgiving table, for you to even serve something in. Let me see if this says, hang on. It doesn't say, it doesn't say not food safe anywhere on here, but it is a decorative piece, so you might want to think about that. But I would put a little easel with that. I think this piece probably originally came with an easel, but it was gone out of this but you can pick easels up at the thrift store they're a, like a dime a dozen so here's this I thought that was really pretty and it would be a great Thanksgiving piece um, this piece I paid a dollar fifty for it and these cups I paid a dollar a piece for them so 
I have been really particular lately about what I've bought and the amount that I pay for it. So I've noticed that Goodwill here, the one that I normally go to, they have tags on certain, like at the beginning of the week, they'll have a, um, uh, it'll be the, whatever color the tag is will be half price. So I've been very, very strict on myself about not buying anything that's not that color of tag. The manager is the one who picks the color of the tag for the week or the day or however they do it. So these other two pieces I got at another little place that's over close to the Goodwill that I go to. I'm not going to say the name of this one because they are very, very particular about resellers coming in there. They don't like it, and so I try to fly really under the radar when I go in there and pick up only a couple of pieces. But I got these two pieces for 50 cents a piece, and this is a Falls Graph piece. This is the pattern Perennial. And I just love this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? What I'm probably going to do, you could use this for all kinds of stuff. You could get, you know, fix it for ice cream. I think that's these were originally ice cream bowls. So I may see if I can find some more of these and sell them as a set. But if I can't, what I will do is I will do a candle pour in this because I think that would be just lovely in here in this. And this would be just great to sit... I mean, to set it on your dresser or just use it as a decor piece, put some greenery in it or some marbles or your, you know, little ball, those little decorative balls that you get. I think this would be just gorgeous with that. So I just thought this was pretty. And with it being Falls Graph, it's nice and sturdy. So there's that piece. The next thing I picked up for 50 cents was this little navy crock. This is a crock that some cheese came in. It says sharp cheddar cold pack cheese spread. Now, I am probably, this says Maytag Dairy Farms. Now, it says that on the bottom. It's back stamped with that. And I thought this was a cool little pottery piece. So, what I will probably do is take this off and sell it like, and it'll look just like this. Because crocs are a real hot ticket item. Anything pottery or croc will, will sell. So um, everything I've ever had that's been a piece of pottery or a crock has gone right like that. So I don't think that this will be any different. I'll just take this, this off. It looks like it's loose, like right in here. So I should be able to get that off. So the last thing I picked up, and this has got, this was actually evidently in someone's booth at one time because it's got a tag on it that's $40.50, and I got it for a dollar. This is an old, rusty, crusty little bell. And I had it sitting out over the weekend in my decor um, in here in my dining room just because I think it's cute. And it says on the inside, Old Mexico, and then there's more writing, but I do not know what it says. So I did, I did a Google search on this. I could not find it. And you can see the little cross on top is leaning, but it isn't loose. So I'm going to assume that it was cast like that. But this is just cool. I mean, it's got a beautiful patina. That patina on the inside is just gorgeous. Look at that. So you could lay it on its side if you wanted to show the patina. You could do it like that. Put it in there. I thought this would be beautiful for Easter decor. I think this is just a really pretty, pretty piece. And this was $1. I'm going to have to clean all this stuff. I haven't cleaned any of this yet. So <laughs> hopefully most most everything I got this time was pretty clean. Um, this The second little shop that I go to, it is always, everything there is always really, really dirty. So I don't know if they roll it in the mud before they put it out on the shelf where it's just been in people's homes and it's just old, but it's their stuff is not clean. But they still have good stuff because if you can look past the dirt and bring it, you know, bring it home, you can get nearly all it. I've never bought anything there that I wasn't able to get clean. So it's usually really dusty. So we'll see how this goes. Guys, I'm sorry I don't have more to show you today. Um, like I said, later on in the week, uh, week, I'm going to try to go somewhere else. So maybe I can do another one sometime soon, another another one. But it's just this is just hard right now to find anything. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless you. Maranatha. Bye-bye.